Hello doctors. Good afternoon. In some examinations, it may be asked in the case of Virechana, Kafante Virechane, explain. If this is asked in examination, how to perform, how to present an answer, we will see in this session. Okay? Kafante Virechane. This is a symptom of Samyak Virechana Lakshanas. You can refer Samyak Virechana Lakshanas. In this, we can see the end point of Virechana is the elimination of the kapha. Bile will be eliminated. If we see the bile during Virechana, we must consider it as an end point. Or else, if we not consider it as an end point and we further indulge in the Virechana, then we will see the complications in that patient. In Virechana, there is a sequential elimination of first is Purisha, later on Pitta and next Rakta and next Vata. The aim is to Pitta and Kapha only elimination. Majority of the large intestine produces mucus during the time of Virechana to support the walls and vessels of large intestine. Okay. The mucus is more uh, produced in more amount in large intestine at the time of Virechana. First, we administer the Virechana. Purisha will expel out. Later on, Pitta and next, Rakta. If we further indulgence in the process, then Vata will be eliminated in that case. After the elimination of Purisha and Pitta, the mucus secreted by the large intestine is eliminated. We have to consider this as kapha. The mucus is considered as kapha. Here the protection of large intestine is disturbed with this elimination of kapha dosha. If we prolong the virechana process without considering the elimination of kapha, then the rupture of large intestine and the vessels may damage leads to jivadana. Jivadana means blood may be lost. Blood loss is seen in such condition if we do not consider the kapha dosha. So, while seeing the mucus, we have to stop the virechana processes. Before this, we need to know the samyak virechana lakshanas. By that, we can understand the elimination of purisha later on pitta and next kapha will be eliminated at last vata is eliminated if we see small amount of mucus during the elimination of pitta during the elimination of uh, virechana dravya at that time we have to stop the procedure if we do not stop the procedure even after seeing the mucus then it may lead to jivadana blood loss which further causes complications in the person. So we have to know the order of elimination of doshas in Virechana procedure and we have to know if we see the kapha to a small extent at that time we have to stop the procedure. If we not stop the procedure then it, it may lead to the complications of blood loss and fluid loss the patient may enter into a coma stage. So we have to stop the procedure. The Panchakarma processes were the most helpful to reduce and to eliminate the disease if we use them in a proper way. If we do not consider of we, or if we do not maintain the exact procedure methods means we indulge many difficulties in the patients. So, we have to eliminate kapha, kapha ante virechana. We have to stop the procedure of virechana after seeing this kapha. This explains kapha ante virechana. Based on the marks, you have to elaborate it. These are the points in brief which we undergo through the virechana processes. Okay. How to present? In the first point, we have to write end point of virechana samyak virechana lakshana 
it is seen kapha is eliminated in virechana is the samyak virechana lakshana later on order of elimination must be written purisha pitta and rakta and vata if pitta kapha only elimin uh, the elimination of virechana is pitta and kapha if mucus is eliminated by kapha here we have to consider during the virechana procedure the large intestine secretes more and more amount of mucus to protect itself from the damage if we see a small amount of elimination of mucus we have to uh, consider it as kapha and must stop the procedure if we not stop the procedure and the procedure if it is prolonged the rupture may occur to large intestines and vessels leads to jivadana so patient may arise uh, in the patient we can see the complications like excessive blood loss fluid loss he may enter into delirium so we have to stop the procedure by seeing the kapha hence kapha and the virechana plays an important role in administration of virechana therapy okay in the final 10th point you can write the samyak virechana lakshanas thank you in further videos we will discuss the later chapters